loves welcome back to another video today's video was requested by quite a few of you so i wanted to come by and share with you how i stretch my hair using heat to stretch my hair i'll be using this main choice do it pretty culture sheen spray my con air blow dryer some hair clips and two woogies My hair is currently in a wash and go. I styled it about a day before the filming of this video and I just allowed it to air dry. My hair is usually very stiff on day one hair, especially when I'm styling a wash and go. And it just has no movement whatsoever. So I like to apply some oil using the praying hand method to help break the gel cast. Next, I separate my hair into smaller sections that will make this process a lot more manageable. Working with one small section at a time, I first start by holding the ends of my hair just a little and then using my blow dryer with the nozzle attachment on warm heat and high speed, I direct the hot air along the length of my hair. However, I'm not applying any heat to the ends of my hair because I want this section to remain as curly as possible and with curly ends it gives that illusion as you guys will see in the end. Although my hair is stretched there's still a lot of definition to it and guys let me tell you stretching really does make a difference because as a matter of fact look at it for yourself are you seeing this look at the difference between the stretch section and a section that has not been stretched do you guys need any more convincing <laughs> i'm repeating the same process holding my hair at the ends and then running the blow dryer along the length of my hair just for a few seconds and then it's finished Now guys, there are many other ways that you can stretch your hair. There are methods like the African shredding, banding, um, braids, twists. However, I like to use this blow dryer method because for me, it's the fastest method. It gives my hair amazing volume, a longer, more bouncier appearance. However, on the downside, excessive heat can lead to heat damage. So you want to be careful as to how much heat you're applying. And this method does add an extra step to my routine, which can be a bit annoying if I'm in a rush. However, the results are unbeatable. I like to apply a little bit more oil when I'm finished with the entire half just to give my hair some extra shine. Look at the difference between the two. Oh my goodness. Can you see? <laughs> Shrinkage who? Now I'm just putting the stretch section in a woogie just so that it can cool in a stretch state while I work on the next section. And yeah guys, for this section, I just repeat the same process.
I'm also securing this section into a woogie so that it can also cool down in a stretch state while I work on my edges off camera. I then go back in with my afro pick just to fluff my hair and shape it a little bit to give me my desired look and then yeah guys that is it that is the simple easy way in which i stretch my hair for perfect voluminous long hair every single time which method do you use to stretch your hair let me know in the comment section below Thank you guys as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later loves. <laughs>